over his aides say the president is tired and resting in his residence. But the events have raised new questions about his health and his ability to govern. It was a different scene as rebel leader Lauren Kabila arrived in the newly captured Kisangani, as CNN's Catherine Bond reports. Even the searing heat didn't stop the rush to welcome Laurel Kabila to Kisangani, the largest of more than a dozen towns the rebel alliance has captured. Again, there was pointed criticism for France's support of President Mobutu, and again, Zaire's civilian population turned out to be more boisterous than its army, as rebels who'd taken the city last weekend without a problem lost the battle for crowd control. People pushed forward onto the tarmac, and then when Kabila arrived, the press surged forward too, leaving little in view except the top of his felt hat. His response to Mobutu's call for a ceasefire was unaltered. Negotiations would have to take place first. A palpable sense of relief has followed the departure of Zaya's army, its hasty retreat impeded by a river crossing where the ferry broke down years ago. Rather than leave them to the rebels, the soldiers burnt their cars. The soldiers a little missed. Already a boat owner is flying the colonial flag of the Belgian Congo, adopted by the Rebel Alliance. Back in the city, political leaders have been explaining how they'll run the administration and economy. Many employees haven't been paid for years. Coffers are empty. The rebel takeover of Kisangani caused relatively little bloodshed. The worst incident on the left bank of the city was a mistake. Thinking there was a counterattack, the rebels fired mortars at soldiers shooting in the air as they looted. A number of civilians were killed and the injured taken to a poorly equipped government hospital. Among them, 10-year-old Fatuma. Her parents and grandmother are looking after her, but she needs specialized medical care. Charlotte Sala survived when a fragment went through her neck, but the closest members of her family died. The bomb hit our plot and my mother and child died, she says. My child of two months old was killed. Among our neighbors, seven were killed and three were injured. Despite the bombing, the white bandanas are not head injuries, but a sign of support for the rebels. The only exception to this support is among Hutus from Rwanda. Some are in hiding. Others, including soldiers, have been detained in this warehouse on the quayside. Meanwhile, Zairean government soldiers are free to surrender. The rebel officer marshalling this unit stopped to allow us to film them, but put himself behind the camera. The unruly conduct of soldiers like these made people hate Mobutu's army. Nonetheless, some may soon fill the ranks of Kabila's forces, making it harder for the rebels to maintain the high standards of discipline that have helped make Laurent Kabila so popular. The elements of that alliance, and perhaps nobody else, um, for a period of approximately a year, that was something he clarified later at a press conference that he held this evening, and that after that there would be, he said, um, free and fair elections which all parties in Zaire could participate in. So at the moment he envisages a role for his movement, the ADFL, um, a transitional role, and that but perhaps uh, people are willing to, uh, are permitted to join. He said, for example, the opposition leader Etienne Tshisekedi in Kinshasa would be able to join his alliance. I think as an individual we were trying to get um, a real statement of policy on that, but that is as far as he would commit himself.